Hello and welcome to this video detailing the upgrade process for Sage 200 Professional powered by Sage Partner Cloud. Keeping Sage 200 up to date is important, not just in terms of staying legislatively compliant and ensuring support for the latest operating systems, but also to take advantage of the many new features that make managing your company finances easier and more efficient. The first step is to back up your databases, including your configuration database. Now, looking at the provision and portal, it isn't easy to tell which database is which. So open System Administrator to get a clearer picture. Right-clicking on Sage 200 SA and selecting Properties will give you the database name of the configuration database. The other database names can be seen in the company section. Make a note of these for later in the process. Whilst we're here, let's take a copy of the attachments and spooler folders as we'll need these once we've set up the new site. Each company may have its own attachment folder. To check this, right click on each company and select properties on the list that appears. Here you'll see the attachments field that will give you the location of the folder. It's important to note that any attachment links found here are specific to the user that created them, so will need to be copied as required. The spooler folder can be found here. Either copy these folders to your own PC or use something like OneDrive or SharePoint to upload them for use later. The next step is to back up the individual databases. This is done within the provisioning portal. Open up the site page for the customer and then click the backup icon beside each database that's required. This process can take a while, so it's best to plan this time in. Once the backups have completed, you need to download the files in readiness for the new site. To download the file, navigate to the restore icon against each database, and in here you'll find the on-demand backup that you've created. Click the download icon when ready, and make sure to save the files in a location you can access later on. Now we have our data, we can create the upgrade site ready for testing. Start by clicking add site within the site section of the customer dashboard. Click next, and fill in the details as you see on screen using your own site name and Azure subscription. Make sure to select 2023 R1 full version and the Sage 200 Professional SPC test upgrade license in the relevant fields. Select the modules that you want to use and the amount of app and web users that are required. Select the option to use the platform suggested size. Select the user that you wish to be the site's default administrator and add any additional users that you would like to have access. You can add users later in the normal way if required. To upload the databases from the old site, open the new site in your customer screen. Here you can see the Backpacks button. Clicking this will allow you to select the file you want to upload and add a description. In the Remote Desktop app, open the Session Desktop and then paste the attachments and spooler folders that you saved earlier. Make sure to paste these into the same location that they exist on the original site. And remember that any attachment links will need to be copied from the original site also. Open System Administrator, and when prompted, select the option to restore the configuration database. Then select the relevant backpack file that you noted in previous steps. Once that's completed, you'll be presented with a list of users that belong to this site. Clicking on OK will then add them as users within System Administrator. Enter the account number and serial number for the new site. It's important that you don't use the original serial number. The new serial number can be found on the site screen within the provisioning portal. The following steps will need to be completed for each company database. To restore the company database, open the company section, right click the relevant company and then select restore. Once the database is restored, make sure to remember to update it to the latest version. Don't forget to make sure the attachments path and spooler folder locations match the original site. 
At this point, you should copy across any customized reports and install any third-party add-ons that were present on the original site. Please fully test this environment before going live. Make sure that you can see the attachments for each company and that the spooler is shown the correct document history and that you can update both of these by adding new attachments and sending more documents to the spooler. Once you're happy to finalize the site, click upgrade to start the process. You'll be prompted to select the original site that you're upgrading from. And then once you click accept, the upgrade will begin. Points to note, depending on the time taken to test the upgrade, you may want to take fresh backups from the original site to ensure the latest data set is transferred to the new site. Just follow the steps you've seen previously here to restore them. Any upgrade should be subject to customer sign off to show that they are happy with the outcome. As mentioned previously, please ensure the environment is fully tested. The upgrade process takes on average 20 minutes to complete. If the API has been set up on the original site, this will need to be off-boarded and then onboarded to the new site. This is done by canceling the license on the account and setting it up again on the 365 journey. To simplify the process of copying custom reports to the new site, it may be easier if they're added as an add-on package using the SDK tool. That's it for this video. We hope it was informative and useful. For more information on what is coming up for Sage 200, then please check our roadmap for future releases. Thank you.